Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tableau Tutorials. In this video, we will see two very simple types of charts that are supported by Tableau and we will see all about them. That is what is their features, why should we create them. Also, we will try to create some of them for us. So the two charts that we would be seeing is the GAN chart and the packed bubbles chart. So particularly out of these two charts, Gantt chart is relatively important because whenever we want to talk about timelines or the tasks uh, that must be completed in a uh, given set of time, then the Gantt chart is created because it uses the date dimension as a compulsory requirement. So if you just go to this scan chart, we have got a compulsory requirement as one date that must be present, one or more dimensions and zero to two measures. So basically you can get any dimension and a date that is the minimum requirement to create a CAN chart. So let's see how do we create that. First of all, we have this shipment date. Uh, let's just get that into the columns, right? Uh, now the first requirement is completed. The second is the dimensions. So let me get the dimension as the subcategory into the rows. Now you can see the Gantt chart is available. If we just click on it, the Gantt chart is created. Now what is this Gantt chart is uh, uh, comprised of is let's just increase its size a little bit and select to entire view. Uh, is that in the different years that is from 2018 to 2021. What we are getting is uh that the different subcategories that are being sold the items of these different subcategories are being sold now the measures is not a requirement but as you can see this can chart is not giving us main, many much uh, many more information as it might give with the help of measures so let's just get one measure into it that is the sales measure let's just get that into the rows oh sorry if you get the sales measure into the columns, then what do we get is these uh, different uh, information like this. Actually, uh, what we can do is just remove this. And what we can do is select these measures from here. That is the sales, the shipment date and the subcategory. And now just click on the Gantt chart. So what will it do? It will create this kind of a uh, Gantt chart for us. Let's just remove this your ship date from here. Uh, just a second. Actually, there is some kind of a error that's occurring. Let me just rectify it. So uh, now the Gantt chart is created. This is how it looks. Okay. Now uh, let's just take a look at that. Uh, we have got the year into the columns and the uh, subcategory as the rows and we have got the sales column into the size. Now whatever the size is, it tells us that what is the uh, contribution of that particular subcategory in that particular year. Like if we take a look at 2019, uh, we have got a bigger size of the chairs. That means chairs are sold in much more numbers than art because it is a smaller size now automatically the uh, shape is taken as square if you want you can just change it to circles uh, you can just change it to relatively any other shape from here you can just choose any shape like this um, let me just go with these plus symbols and if you want to increase their size you can increase their size a little bit as well oh, that's too much oh, let me just keep it like this so that we are able to see the information okay uh, you want to change the colors you can just change the colors as well or say you want to apply the profit into the colors so what happens is the profit and the loss uh, statements or the data is being shown on the basis of the colors so this is a gantt chart that shows us the data on the basis of the timeline uh, right now we are getting year if we just get it into the form of the quarters if you want to get it in the form of the months that's the simple things that we can get but i think quarter is sufficient uh, because that's what we are getting so that's how the gantt chart is uh, uh, working it is relatively important for the projects like uh, whenever we want to 
communicate the timelines of the projects then we can use these gantt charts now next visualization that we are going to work upon is the bubbles visualization right so it is supported by tableau like this is this packed bubbles visualization tableau has named it as so it requires at least one dimension or one or two measures and the picturization of this visualization is very similar to a word cloud like if you have seen a word cloud you might know that it is a combination of the words the larger the size of the word that means the more frequency of that particular word is or that particular thing is so just like this the packed bubbles is created right now in this video we will see how to create packed bubbles in the next video we will see how to create word clouds which is not supported by tableau so that would be a custom visualization that we would be creating right so let's just get some of the dimensions like uh, get the subcategory and the profit okay over here and just change it into packed bubbles so this is what we are getting copiers phones accessories papers are all bigger circles they are giving us the most profit we have got a very small circle for fasteners that means it's giving us a less profit and a very uh, and a, a slightly bigger circle for machines that means it is giving us more profit than the fasteners but relatively lower values of profits now the interesting thing to note about this visualization is we are getting this value as 3 negative that means there were three subcategories in which we were not getting any profit we were getting some loss so what this thing has done is that packet bubble specialization what it has done is it has just removed them from the visualizations because you cannot show the negatively sized bubbles right the information is communicated through us in this way if you want you can filter this data that means all those three negative values would be removed if you don't want that kind of a tooltip over here so that would be removed and you would be getting the information now the thing is we are getting uh, the uh, colors on the basis of the subcategory but if we remove that and we try to get the colors on the basis of profit so this is what we are getting let's just choose a different color range uh what we can do is choose the uh, red green range red green diverging and click on okay so uh, green means the highest profit the darkest the green the highest the profit and uh, the darker the red is means lower the profit right so this is uh, for the profit if you don't want to create it for the profit you want to create it for some other visualization let's just create it for sales so we can just go to this packed bubbles option and that's created for sales go to entire view now it is created for this sales visualization but the thing is that uh, we if you want uh, what we can do is we can just get the colors on the basis of profit like although the size is on the basis of sales but the color is on the basis of profits so this is even more interesting because it includes as you can see in the profit it includes even the uh, loss values that means the tables are giving us a negative profit or a loss so that is uh, shown over here similarly supplies also similarly bookcases also so these are the three subcategories that we were not able to get in the case of the first visualization that were giving us a loss but we are able to get them right now so this is how uh, the visualization is created and this is how we can manipulate it to show the maximum information to us uh now there is one more thing uh, that we can do is uh, let's just duplicate this sheet and what i'm going to do is just clear this sheet get in the subcategory get in the profit as well as the sales right now with these three i'm just going to create a packed bubbles because as you can see it can take more than one measures as well so when i do that it automatically does exactly what we did in the previous one that is it assigned the sum of the profit to the size and uh, the sum of the uh, sales to color and gave us the three negative values so this is something that it did but again it is not as beneficial to us as this visualization was so although tableau works good for you to give you the best possible results still you can make manipulations as per your wish that's all for this video thanks for watching